hi guys welcome to my channel so i have received several phone calls today about the money counter and i do have an alternative for the money counter a counterfeit pen it actually does the exact same thing do you happen to have any money on you i, I have the you came just in time okay so i need i'm gonna um, show you how it works and i keep one of these pens on me actually and real quick story time i'm gonna uh, just give y'all a reason why a little backstory so a long time ago it's been over 10 years long long time ago i actually had an encounter with the united states treasury department because okay here we go okay so thank you i hold on i'll give it right back in a minute okay so this is how you detect so lay the bills out rub it like that if it turns black then it's fake money as long as it looks brown like that that means the money's real your money's real thank you thank you okay so i had a little run-in with the united states treasury department because and this may be a little dry snitching here, but this is the story. So I'm going to just tell y'all what happened. Um, my baby daddy, my second baby daddy, whose name shall remain nameless. The, the baby daddy of my last two kids, ex-husband, um, that guy. He ended up one time giving me money to pay my car payment. So... I took the money, went to the Wawa, got a money order. They took the money from me, put it in a, I guess, a Dropbox machine or whatever. And that was it, is what I thought. Okay, so a couple months later, I wake up to somebody knocking on my door. So, you know, I peep out the window first because you know we don't answer no doors <laughs> you don't call you don't no you, you just ain't gonna get in okay so i'm that guy if you don't call me first you can't be here nobody's gonna answer but either way at this particular time i look out the window and it's the men in black and when i say the men in black i mean the real men in black two white guys it could be some black guys, but in this story, two white guys, black suits, okay? So, I started not to answer, but I did anyway. So, I go to the door, and they're asking for me. So, I'm like, um, she, what can I help you with? Because I'm confused. Like, why the fuck is y'all here? And this ain't the neighborhood for y'all type of guys to be in. So, they tell me that they need to see me at a specific time at a specific place king street wilmington delaware i can't give you i don't know the full address but that's where the treasury building was at that time i don't know if it's still there but needless to say that's where they told me to go so i'm trying to figure out what's happening you know what i'm saying because treasury who treasury what like i don't do crimes if you know me then you know my record squeaky clean i don't i get it in a mess but i don't get it in a mess okay so that's just what it is okay so at the time because you know we're together my baby daddy ex partner person goes with me because of course he want to know what's up so when I get there, they take me in a room and they proceed to tell me that you paid with fake money. And I said, what do you mean? The money that you gave the people at the Wawa was fake. No, it wasn't. I paid my car payment with that. Why would I go and pay my car payment with fake money that don't make sense especially when i mean everybody knows the wawa got big cameras like come on so long story short they already knew i didn't know because they had already tapped into the wi-fi the uh, cameras at the wawa and so they even said the way i came in and the way everything happened they know i didn't know so 
But, but the reason for them trying to get me there was because they knew that the person or some type of connection with the person that would have potentially gave, given me the money would have, you know, kind of come out. So, again, this is a little dry snitching, but not snitching because I don't know nothing about no money. So they asked me where I got the money from. And of course, I didn't have a job. The only place at that time I got money from was my children's father, baby daddy, slash ex-partner. And at this time, he used to sell pit bulls. He's a breeder. Actually, he still does the exact same thing. Either way, I don't know too much about his business. So if you're looking for dogs, don't ask me shit because I don't know. And at this point, I don't like him no way. So, I mean... <laughs> I didn't like him when I met him, okay? So, that, I mean, we, it, this is just a thing, okay? Period, point blank. It's not me, it's them, always. Okay, and that's just a fact, okay? <laughs> okay, and that's not the story right now. I'll give you another story time later as to why I didn't like him when I met him and I should have just stuck to my first. This, that's a, that, that right there is a testimony all in its own. Stick to your first intuition. Your first intuition is never wrong. If you don't like somebody, know that you ain't gonna like them. Just know that, okay? So just that. Okay, anyway, back to the story. So they asked me where I got the money from. I got it from my baby daddy. Well, is your baby daddy here? <laughs> Y'all know he here, so what you want? Okay, so... Now they call my baby daddy and, and they asking him and he wasn't even supposed to be there. They already knew this. They was, they was kind of slick because they already knew what was going to happen. Okay. So now they take him behind, you know, and I don't know what actually happened all together. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, that is how it went. Anyway, so they take him back because they asked him, could they talk to him? Because I, listen, the person I got the money from right here. Um, Okay. So that was my one snitching ass story because <laughs> I snitched, but, <laughs> but I didn't know like at the time, you know, cause I, I mean, where else was I going to say I got it from? I mean, come on. All right. So <laughs> I'm cracking out right now. Okay. So his version of the story is, I guess they asked him where he got, well, from what he told me. Okay. So I'm going to just tell it from my point of view, from what he told me. Okay. He be lying, so he could have lied. I don't know, because I don't trust him, as far as I can throw him. The nigga just be lying. He lied about going to the store. Anyway, back on track. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, they asked him where he got the money from. And so, from what I gather, he explained to them that he stole the dog. And I guess the person that he got the dog from, and this was really weird because again, they already knew all this information. This is the thing because they knew where the money had came from, who was passing the fake money around at the time. And I don't know if they had the buoy locked up or anything else. Cause I don't really know the person and I don't know the rest of the story. I'm gonna just give y'all my version as to the reason why I keep a pen with me. Because what them people told me was the first time was an accident. Don't bring your ass back up in here because we ain't going to believe that two times so that's the reason why I keep a money pen on me from then to now because I don't want to run in with them people because literally like they showed up out of nowhere anyway back to the story the story goes from his point of view from what he told me from where I'm standing um he ended up telling them that he had sold the dog a pit bull um I think it was blue face at that time because I think whatever anyway to this dude the dude happened to be my cousin. And the funny part is, this is the reason why y'all kids should know who each person is. Because although the dude is my cousin, he comes from a different part of... So Delaware is very, very, very small. It's a small ass state. You got Sussex County, Kent County, Newcastle County. That's all you got in a little ass place. So the dude is from my part of the family, my mom's side of the family, from Lower Delaware. Slower Lower Delaware is what we call it. That's why another reason why I didn't like him, because he came from Lower Delaware, and I, I didn't like Lower Delaware. Neither here nor there. 
don't be mad at me y'all if y'all see this this is just the way it this is the way it is okay don't be mad at me i'm giving y'all the reason why just accept it okay so the dude ended up being my cousin but i didn't know that side of the family so when they asked me about the guy his last name I know, and this is what I told them, because they did ask me about the guy, but I said, I don't know nothing about that guy, because although those people are related to my mother, I never met them. So, don't try to connect me with no nigga that I don't know. So, although he may be in the bloodline, I don't know him, okay? Point blank, period. But anyway, so that's how the money ended up going from, and so it looked a little bit weird that your cousin gave yo baby daddy ex-partner whatever whatever money but like i said i didn't know him he knew him my baby dad knew him because he's from the same area as the person from so they you know know each other because they from there but i don't know this nigga because i come from the middle of delaware not the end okay which is neither here nor there but anyway the point of this story the moral of the story is i won't get caught slipping with no money so if that money counter is not in your budget or it's not something that you need, you definitely will need this because the reason why is, as of now, I have been told by several stores that there's a lot of counterfeit ass money going around. So I don't know if y'all been paying attention or if it's been happen to, happening to y'all, but I have literally been going into stores and they check every dollar that I have been giving them. And I don't want to think that, you know, they just know me from the past and think that, you know, this bitch brought counterfeit money to the Wawa, so we should check her money. I don't think that's what's happening, okay? So, again, if the money counter is not something that you either need in your life, if you're a small business or a person that handles cash, you need that money counter. And as you see today, they have, you know, it's a sale going on on them. Get a percentage off. So I would suggest that you go over there, look at it, and, you know, upgrade your life. Make it a little bit faster. But if that's not something you need, this is definitely something you need. And it is in the link down below, okay? So short story time. And this is also the reason why it was one of my must-haves, okay? Because I must have it because I shall not see them boys again, okay? So thank you for coming to my channel. Go with God.